Me va a pasta a Samoa y available. But I'm to follow we wait to team song number But the past
yo ebushian fo ye be de nyame ase ye be de nyame ase ebeneza de odia bedri eda wana abu adwuma de nyina bedru sabre sister jennifer ene em ebushian fo aye tonwom ye bo aye announcement ye ye program singer da oponya min shrao or the health presentation mesu ene ma bebre ne tie da ye nyina aye ase be de odi a bedre na ene ye happy home series no ye drew eh de twatoo said ye e sister tracy ka chere ye no ene e ye ofa e twatoo na e ye me mpa e bose na wotwi no de e wosu nyina no ebe to me aboa na de nenso nyame de be maya aka ho no e be boa ye ame aben no said ye situation tie bia no ya te nyame ase ye ene de yesu su ho no wa to din said that they may know se be ye na wo mu be hu o mu be hu eh in fact the Oh, transliterate in a cancer can watch last year direct. I could treat Mussy as it is now and can wear the Nanka say in him, dear, to know a knowledge. Um, but may not sure as you will treat where you because I said, but you're known being on being him or something. And I think so. Oh, maybe hey, okay, said by ye, no, be who now a bet a natural questions be brave, dear, and one seven year can then there was so moon one one seven year can. And no, so our question is in a nay, say, I may say, Ube boy, and yet to me, a tear, say. Now, and I'm saying, nay, they try to into mammy for coin, yes, so I mean, nurse of four emos. And they need team, pastoral team, I say for the invitation. And my name is Benes, and I'm afraid we've had a great week with the church. Yet the Yamia sepa for that invitation. I'm with the Maya. Na me did this relationship ne um uh and kitahu dia ya wo and no nyamia dum e be free a dumu aqua dumunti a sorry penny four and ne a sorry ma way to me ba na or chin ya ni pumo mamma ne be a echli ombe ti series in yina no nyamin shamo for this week di nyame and nam na dum so ame ya ye ye gidi se Yame bo tai pa si e benya osro ke tuwa wo ye fi e no. Na wo chi yi kro no. E fi e besi sa. Na yo osro ke tuwa. E wa sa si isu. Mr. Emo. Bebi e wo biyan. Mumi en si e tira si. Na ye mo mpa. Yansani ya bebo mpa. Yama men ka se. E wia. Questions a ye wo na wo chi yi mouni na. No ye benya kwa yi ni e di e hon komo ni e bisa. Nti ye wia. Nen che da nye presentation be bre. Be ye something very brief. Nye nya kwa yi. E di e hon komo. Uh, and I'm inviting our young people, say we are a bit to me. Yemra, ya na ye din koma ya ne boa. Ye din koma na siye kasa kasa ye nhoa. E ya ne boa. Emma, um, ye timi nya ye honti ya si. Enti yemra na ye nso, ye su ye hunu, our experiences, say ne, eh, di nyame di ama ye no. Ye nshe, ni yeme frustrate, ni yeme ha ye no. Ye nshe, nani nina ano, e mwa ma ye fiye, e nye wa suro ketua. Ma ye si ye tras ni yemon pa ye. Dear God, we are so blessed for having you as our Father. That was ye niyaje ne ye nshama ye si ye wo wo se wo ye ye nyame. Ye so don imu be kasa chere ye biyum. Se di na wotu wa kasa chere ye no. E nenso fa wunse mi ma ye ne mwa ye ma ye sum ya brabo e ni ye fiye e ni heaven ke tuwa e wasa si su wo ye su demu. Amen. That they may know, that they may know. Now, what you yes, you remember Bray about relationship, about family, about marriage, about home, about life, about personality. Yes, you remember Bray. Oh, you fear, you know, you fear, you bring up, you're in some, you're busy, yeah. Yes, you remember Kakra. Now, Mama, you're in shame for me, be ah. And for Nino, a chaddy yes, yen yin nano, a men can say a summarize the yes, yen yin nano to some extent, and my very good picture of the yes, yen yin about relationship, about home, about love, about family. Oh, you fear yet, though, your bush yan, your cacahun yin. 
uh, artist to be a friend of uh, Moritz Cornelis, in fact, um, we will be a manager the drawings of Cornelis Escher. Now, in funny, I was drawn about who are may 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 you know, uh, uh, me did say a cat or don't want some a very touch provoking picture. We saw him for Nina a young Sammy, you know, of friend of drawing hands. Now, and Sano Nifa a draw binkum in a binkum so draw Nifa. A perfect picture of love and what love and relationship should be. Adentia, if we say. The beauty of the right hand lies in the commitment of the left hand. Said the Benkumu Ebesifa Fenin in Nano, a Yina or Noan so, it's something else, it's not Ubiso. Now, Sansona, the Adano, Benkumu, and so ye many fun. Now, Sana Maya Tissin Yanko Ponka a perfect home. If fear a yet a perfect. Home where heaven comes down to earth. A fear, a mawa suro, a ba, a form is a home like this. It is a home where the right hand, the left hand, papa, mame, akola, everybody knows that they have a responsibility, and their responsibility is making the other the very best. Ogen funiya, sana etre, enti imagine. Say Ben Kumni and Adrian so a bad drone if I'm bad Nifani and Adrian so won't draw Ben Kumuna. What is going to happen here? Say you wouldn't have this perfect picture here. Come on, some more. I want you to keep this picture in your mind for the rest of your life when it comes to family. I didn't hear because sometimes you are near you are near through text. You see, you are near my outro. A be a catch there and say, Yeah, 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 she be preaching. But one of the most you know, um, solid way I bet me a is to picture things in our minds. You try them for need to your dream. Ah, a cat na a chair. And so we have a frat, we a young person, we a penny, we a nana. I want you to keep this picture in your mind. A friend of Moritz Connell is Escher. And I love this picture because it has so much to do for me as an individual. But when him, the amount of these pictures are unique, are the other variant of it, another type of the same picture, gives us when the love is out of the scene. And this is what Esha does. This time, we'll change it and no one pens no they throw no into a rubber. And this is sometimes how our family becomes. Adentia, if we say, so every member of the family is trying to undo the other. Ah, it leads it leads to what we call total annihilation. You know, ASA, we are dissolving the family. In fact, what we are trying to do in ESA, yeah, Kelly, you come the other party. And in killing the other party, what we forget, ASA, we give the other party. The force and the strength, so on, and so on, undo yen until lead to chaos and eradication. What it does, I say, a pamu bibia ya chivo as a family mitri ho. So we are bofra, we are young person, we are youth, we are papa, we are mama, we are wife, we are husband. In fact, we will be a wokwa warimu. Whatever your circumstances and your situation is, so when one hold on to the love, ah, ye kamu asem. Love and Yamede Mayen, no one tears here from that angle. You might be contributing in your family to this. You are actually being fatal. Who say be in your family, even though you are working with them and in Yamese Wompe? But when in this picture I ye paint, you know, it has so much implication also. Now, and and Sakrani a beba family as well. I want us to go on a journey. Me perceive you too, queen be you too, and a mom be near share how this picture also plays between and to quack a CBA air course. We are said there's a bigger fight going on in this world. We know it's the fight between good and evil, and to quack a course between Bonnie and a papa, God and Satan. Everything Satan is doing is trying to undo God. 
And everything God is doing is trying to undo Satan, adding here, because this is good and this is bad or evil. And they are having this tango. Maybe I in church, my friend said the great controversy, but I want you to still picture Asher's drawing in this form and understand what we are talking about. Unim. And you told me a year near coast so high level, some kind of great controversy. So, we are traditional seven day Adventists, a woman, the American ones, and Bonnet, quite a far so by a way by. But a year, especially young people, a year and TSS, I can't great controversy involved. What are we talking about? And I want, I want us to start today by breaking it down because that controversy no plays in the in our life, whether we like it or not. So long as so we in the pen, you are in it. You can't be in the middle ground. You are in it. Everybody listening to me, you are in that great controversy. So what do we mean? And how does this play out in our lives? In our day-to-day -day lives. I want to present to you something called secularism. Now, secularism is some strategy to take God away from everything that we do. And good is for God, evil and our bad is for Satan. Religion is for God, secular is for Satan. But what sometimes we don't know, ASA, that you can say religion, religion or you know, the worship of God, you no, know, no. You can say a year or some, but secularism and so a year or some, except to say the a year some no no any yame. And the, what we understand by secularism, a year say a year indifference, rejection, and exclusion. These three things indifference, it says, say yame wo ho, say yame ni ho, and fami ho. I'm indifferent. You know, I'm not here, I'm not there. I'm indifferent, I'm family of God. That is what secularism is. But there's a second type of secularism. We say it's a reject. And not there. My imagine say, you are the best true at me, be an me was shield be or me block or no. You can't anything about God. Ah, I reject it. I don't like it. I hate it. Into me po. That is rejection. And that is what secularism is doing. But there's also a third, which is exclusion. Exclusion here say, Kakrane wumi mono, me be squeezing it out, me be chim, no me ye free ho. I'm excluding it, I'm taking it out in me. What I say, ye wumi to, yami sumu, no me suye yami, me nimse yami tise, me nimse yami tise, I'm taking it out of me, I'm excluding it out of my life. And I'm excluding anything which is godliness, which is good, which is moral, which is right out of my life. And that is what secularism is. And this is the kind of tango and tokwa. So when we say the great controversy, I remember these three things indifference, rejection, and exclusion against anything God. That is what secularism is. And that is what the great controversy is all about. My question this morning, bra ye we in family life series in I want to ask you and I want to pause and ask you a very simple question. How do you see yourself in this fight? How do you kwabe na fa so hun hun e wo santo kwemu? Well, the truth is there are two ways to look at it. One, e ye me as a person. Mi fie that is one. But there is also a national one, something which is beyond us, something which enye mina me kape se, but a bontino na air force on me, semi rejecting. Even though that it comes down to me, my personal choice, you know, I need to look at this whole issue of secularism, you know, uh, or no from two different angles. One is me, and two is everything else around me. And a way say, and I'm a person who try when you shine a year. She said, remember, Briar Tia Siano, a boy, and my Yamasum. I mean, for one question, for the past 100 years, one of the things 
are the world has been very, very much interested in a, a kind of religion called a secular religion, or sumua nyaminim. And I go back to 100. In fact, you can go as far back as possible, but I want to stick to the last 100 years, Adentia, because it come closer to us. And, and my yang, sometimes we forget ourselves, say, this war is real and it's happening. So let me start with what we call visible secularism. And the one that I want to start on is what we call mass media. Mass media. Mass media, all kind of things, you know, TV, internet, social media, and your Facebook, WhatsApp, you know, Instagram, all these things, emails. In fact, if it may cry the phone, types of phone uh, conversation, account, Skype, you know, Zoom, anything, I am your communicating information, any medium, am I communicating to the masses? Am I your cancer? Everybody, that's why I call mass, everybody, the media process or channel or two. And it's acquired your fossil and communicating amongst us. Now, our mass media is one of the most visible things to actually become converts of secularism. This type of religion, this new religion, a secularism. I didn't think I made the paper to say, prepare to say, Jonathan Sachs, Rabbi Jonathan Sachs. In fact, it's one of the one of the people I personally I respect so much because he talks a lot of sense or kasa and this or kasa and the worldview is based on the belief in God. Um, some time ago, no way on a Jews ne you know you know Jew for my saying in an on an a yomo a because I'm a president because you know be SEC president and that's a BBC I'm not an adult man. You know, as a Jewish community, the Jewish community, in fact, the whole Commonwealth, any uh, union, and he was the one in charge. Now, uh, some time ago, now me me the conversations be at home and the lectures be at home, and and same be okay. Yeah, I put to a stop to you know a whole do make a cry. Hey, I say, um, yeni na yeni mse UK, United Kingdom, Britain is supposed to be a religious country. They are somewhere your foundation. You may try your fluma. Most of our laws are from the Bible, and it's actually detected by what we call a Judeo-Christian, you know, um, you know, development. Judea and the Christ Christianity, you know, the, um, you know, coming together to form our basis of, you know, laws and any other. But some people like, you know, him, we are a bit worried. Say we cannot have a situation. Say I say. We are getting to a stage that anything about God, so they can on mass media, you say it is wrong. Let me approach BBC. I really want to introduce God into the system properly. In fact, one can say, I will even want to introduce us. So let me bring something like a balance, you know, because it cannot be said, Uko TV, so now you can say, be a gay, yes, you are right. But so I can say, I'm not a gay, I'm not a gay, then we make you seem, say, 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 you are stupid. At the unim yansa in a way say so, you know they started reasoning that something is wrong. You cannot have a situation say you have only one side. Let us try to you know bring a balance in it. And he approached this um, media, mass you know um, national adi. And what struck me a hey, statement a response a demand. I'm say, okay. One I didn't answer any episode by yet, but if we want you to do it. We want you to do it at a timer and kwalen yinada. We cannot allow you to do it at a prime time. Adeng, because your program will infiltrate the young people. It will infiltrate their minds. A best sell I'm a master That was the answer he was given. In T so I saw yen around 1 a.m. and I said 12 midnight to the coin. And this is just a tip of the iceberg. See, sorry, I news, TV, but sometimes we forget, sir. These things are subconscious influence, and you are influencing and to actually get us to become convert, a year free, I say, for us to love anything anti God, 
against God. Now we need to watch out and we need to also encourage our young people to watch out. So a young person, of course, I mean, most people, we spend a lot of time watching Netflix, we spend, you know, watch, you know, Amazon Prime, we watch all these things. And sometimes we forget, say, and near me since be a one, we have watched it so much that we don't even know, say, a bonnet anymore. But we need to watch out. Infiltrate. The word, no bit me, I say, contaminate. Contaminate, it be a yes, a bonnet, a yes, gem, a yeah, a yeah, a yeah. Mask, a yes, yes, you remind us, say, a ruin, sir. We don't want to contaminate ourselves. Now, God has become a gem. A bonnet, say, it will contaminate our young people. So watch out. Mass media is one of the visible things that is fighting against God. Two, your schools and your institutions, and you know, let me say, so officially, all our public institutions are legally secular. What it means, near say, it is right to teach anything unto God in the school. It is wrong to present anything God in school because God is considered gems. A year near me be contaminated here, man. Into your school, you know, no. A year legally circular. Into we beka se basi a chile religion here, dear. Yes, the religion that we teach is not spirituality, but it is philosophy. Philosophy means say, let me think about this and make a judgment, and that is how we look at religion. It's no more about that save the Lord. In fact, Lord no kwa nini wai? O kani se inwa no kachire no se no kano. Can you prove that? Say Peter, a bit You have to subject that idea of religion to what rational thinking, and if it doesn't meet it, then it is not right. And that, that is why say you cannot talk about what is spiritual. You can talk about religion in terms of philosophy and rationalization. Nt. One of the things as part of rationalization is uh, what do our children think? How do they think? And then the children, how they think forms the basis of our society, what we consider. And see, oh, you run a survey, survey, and then that becomes the new law. Why? Because that is what people think. And you know, we, we can have a different conversation on that because I really want us to get into this. I'm, I'm trying to make a very important point. That is why I'm going back to build this foundation. My question is, can my child, I already five, ten years, can I trust Akolani? The decisions are so good, sir. That is what I am going to base. And then I'm the way I have to live. Can I really trust? What they are saying, unfortunately, as a nation, that is what we have come to accept. Then on my analogy, we say, imagine, say, who be send over back ten years? So uncle America, no uncle dear dear Emre, could you do that? <laughs> could you do that? No, I didn't hear. You can't trust our land. So bet me, I could fat. Leaving a, a you know, South Bracknell, uh, leaving Bracknell to London crown, the chances here say, you know, who better go into state in you know, a panic? You phone crowd, a colleague, and her beira, I didn't hear. You cannot trust because remember, or your cola or your child. Yet we listen to what they say and use that to form the basis of a nation and our laws and our jurisdiction. And that is something for us to think about. Of course, I'm not saying you said the Uncle Labe can be here, don't get me wrong. I'm talking about when it becomes the basis and the foundation of morality of right and wrong, then we need to um, think carefully. The another thing to make about schools, which is another way are ah, LED and astray. The third one is eh, science. Now, science is a visible agent. You can say agent, a BB, a quite a cell, or no near between, or no near, or no near, or no near, try to actually make something happen. And science is an agent, ah, a making it possible for secularism to grow around us. So, which are when you share around here, most of the near my canoe, the brain is based on, well, let me even go back to coronavirus by what did we say? We are going to. But as Johnson Bayer or say, we are informed by the science. It is the science beckon in a year, Jinasu, and they are making your moral choices and decisions. And it turned out to be, say, the first science, the second science, the third science, the fourth science, 
there were so much disparity say sometimes it was difficult for people to even know say which science are we talking about yet when it comes to the issue of right and wrong everything that science says and saying i make us a mini germany four year you know uh, youth for year studies be and we realize say over 60 percent of all major scientific uh, you know um discoveries have been disproven yet all institutions are suppressing this you're pressing it down because then same way saying you know, how to say yeah disproven that it is going to create more problem in tian kataso and we believe it this is what we teach our young people science is causing a lot of wrongs in our system and why because we have become we have this feeling say yes science has you know a boy and it has made us the masters of our environment because now we are have advanced so much in medicine it me a producing rule it me a way it me a way it me a way and we hold on to these things and we say so because of that we are better off in this world with science rather than looking at the real thing maybe it's something that we need to be very very mindful of of course there is so much that science has done for us so over the history of the world that we are probably living at a time that we have advanced so much in every sense of the world but we should balance that with the you know numerous problems that we have we have as a world um OBE analysis been our cover to say south korea you know in all their hotels in their chambers you know they have gas masks why because they know so somebody can just press a button and the whole country will be bombed and the year you say a bar you know we hold this marks and maybe we can survive kakra this is what science is giving us until we talk about our advancement but what about this fear this confusion this bar stuff what about that so keep an eye on that as you grow up in the lord and what about the church hmm. the church we forget, say, now the church is becoming more secular than spiritual. And we can spend more time to talk about it because how many times any a core church board are here discuss here, same way, say, pa, your post is happening for. I think, say, we are trying to drift into. Let's go back and say, say, what does God say on this matter? Do we actually have been a church elder for some time? And me experience, Muniani and Tai, and because it becomes. Madame Fulie, me issue need to let's look at the, the issue. How we what, what about God? Because sometimes we forget that even a church we are drifting and forgetting that I'm not talking only about the Seventh day Adventist church, I'm talking about the church as a worldwide movement. Because we have a lot of success. Yes, success, hey, yeah. how many people we have. You know, the church is big. You know, London Ghana, you can do into the back and we see it here. And you know, we have a you know, bigger churches, you have a lot of money, you have this and that. Empty. But what does God say? What is the philosophy that God wants us to have when it comes to running church? What a, a pleasure. Entertainment. Oh, you know, young people, dear, this is how we want to do it. But have we paused to say, what does God actually want in this matter? You know, civil pride. Most of our platforms have become political, you know. Um, you know, promoting political agendas. And especially we can we can we can expand on this so much, but this is real. Most of the time, and some of Mijina Hall cannot yes say as some of the sun and your American, but because some of Ghana need I need to speak for Ghanaians. Sometimes in your Brunit, I need to speak for the white, sometimes your Caribbean, I need to speak for the Caribbeans, until we have all these divisions going on. But the question is, what does God say on this matter? And this is drifting us away from God, and we are now going into now there is a study be me read here an adventist church now going to take people outside the church to come and detect for us what our principles should be in the church and we call this the church of god men and women we need to sit up and recognize that we are all being drifting we are drifting into this uncharted territories and God wants us to say, all that I'm trying to say in yes, the secularism is out of control. If you look at the mass media, if you look at our schools, if you look at you know, the church, if you look at um, everywhere, you have this problem. Now, my question to you this morning, ASA, so we are parents, ah, what luck have you got? 
I really want to worship God, but how do I, I really want to bring my children up in the Lord. How do I do it? Where do I start? Because there's a problem in the church. There's a problem in the schools. There's a problem in my neighborhood. There's a problem in my community. There's a problem in my family. All these people are drifting away from God. Where do I go? And I believe this is a question that we should be asking more as 21st century Seventh-day Adventists. This is a question that we should be asking as people who really want to follow John Bunyan's pilgrim progress and know that this world is not our home. We have a home somewhere. This is the kind of question we have to ask. But this morning, let's spend a few time to find a way to navigate ourselves you know, through these questions and see, maybe maybe may have some answers because God is always a loving father. He always come with an answer and let us not miss this answer. Yes, a true, we have limited influence in our workplace. You cannot change the workplace. They, they, they make you think, say, you know, for you to even think that we can do because I don't know you are excuse my language, a bit dumb, you know, to be thinking that way. So much influence, and then no control, you know, can we call on my children school, and say, when himself by, say, we are now going to introduce sex education. <laughs> he are putting in a, you know, very nice, is it, religious and dear, dear education. Simply, let me put it clearly, Obi our curriculum is trying to say, say, we are going to tell the young people, say, it is good for a man and a man to work, uh, marry. Let me put it this simply like that. You can question this and go and take the document and read it. You cannot have a control on it because that is what is going to happen. Until you are scared, you are worried. You don't have control in your neighbors, how they behave. Is there hope? And I'm saying that there is hope. Because the answer God gives for you and me is that the only place that you have complete hope, the complete freedom to train your child to love God, to love morality, which comes from God, and to appreciate, say, yes, secularism is there, but there's a true religion that God gives is your home, where you have the complete control. Do you know, Sam, we are seeing you now, none of them can protect you when you are teaching your children about God in your home. And this is something that sometimes we forget. And this morning, I cannot emphasize this so much than saying, say, we as parents need to step up. We as a church need to step up and consider the trainings that we give to ourselves to be able to become good home tutors, good home teachers, is what God actually, in fact, it is what God has ordained from the beginning. And let me show you why this is the case. You see, we take, you started uh, this week, you know, and we've looked at what God, the blueprint that God gave us from Genesis chapter one. The one I say, I say from last week, Genesis chapter one. And Genesis chapter one is very clear about God's plan and purpose. And we go through Genesis chapter two and, and chapter three. We look at the whole book of Genesis and we see, say, God gives, gives us a good, you know, a plan, a good blueprint where we take our morality from. And we see, said, in the book of Genesis, true education is at home. Everything else is Bruni because of what we call complementary. It is not where my child is going to have an education. Yes, they need to go out and they need to go to school, they need to go to the best universities. But those are just complementary, complementary chese, and no no soso keke, and no no kaho keke, but the real thing need to be happening at home. See, when him said the fact that me back school will guarantee me banner certificates, but it will never guarantee a colony true education. The fact say they may grow to find work, and no, me, does not guarantee, say, they will have happiness when they don't have the true education at home. Maybe, so when your certificate is a graduate year, you know, will be a lot of acceptance, but they will not be getting salvation because salvation is not going to come from that education they are having out there. God's blueprint says, say, I am not going to forsake you. I'm going to hold you 
when you hold on to me. Society will detect for you who your child is. In fact, Obekacho, what your identity is. You know, very interesting. Sometimes you know, black and Asian and minority, BMA, BME children, black and ethnic minority families. So tell me about you. The first number said, Well, yeah, are you British? Are you English? Or are you this? They are confused because they don't know who they are. And it's so interesting when you build some of this conversation. Why? Because they don't know who they are. The, the situation is telling them sometimes they look at their past when they say, I'm British. But the Omukwa Bwantia, they say, you are not British. You, know, you are not. You are not one of us. Omukwa has said, you are Ghanaian. So this whole, you know, quagmire, this whole complex stuff. But God reminds them, say, you are one of my own. You are equal to everybody. And that is why we have to make God so real to our children, you know, growing up. So I think it is really important for Yenyi Na to start considering this home education seriously. And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that said, if we go to Genesis, when God decided to say, so I'm going to choose a nation. In fact, there is no... Nobody can question why God decided to take Abraham because God could have taken somebody called, you know, um, Adonijah or somebody. But God, in his own wisdom, selected Abraham. And if you read Abraham, um, Genesis chapter 11, 12, and the promises, the blessings he gives to Abraham, so amazing. See, through you, the whole world will be blessed. And I want you to be a generation, a model for everyone to, you know, look at and then you know, get the salvation that I have for this, you know, sin sick world. And it goes on. But there is something that God paused to remind Abraham. And this is what I want to share with you. If you turn your Bibles with me to Genesis, Genesis chapter um, 18, you know, and I'm reading um, from verse 18. I'll say, okay, and one day, and the Lord said to Abraham, shall I hide from Abraham what I'm doing since Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him? And somebody else said, catch Abraham. No, I need to tell him as it is, the real deal. I need to give it to Abraham. And this is what God goes ahead to say. For I have known him. I have known Abraham in order that he may command his children and his household after him. May ye Abraham, may ye know, na me dear Juma Baku Nashe Abraham as yes, you are going to be the founding founding father of a nation, the whole nation. I may be building, you are going to be the founding father. And through you, the whole world, the founding father of the whole world, you are going to be. And this is a big task. But this is the one work I'm giving to you, Abraham. And you say your main job is that you should command your children and your household that they may know, they may keep the way of the Lord. That is your prime job as somebody who is going to hold the whole world's burden on your shoulder, that they may know. No, they are to ask you to do righteousness and justice that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken. Now, I want us to pause on this phrase. When you book track, kind the whole thing, in fact, you need to go back and look at Genesis chapter 12 and see the blessings. Ah, and come to Genesis chapter 18 and read this passage properly. And I want to present to you the four main principles. Ah, you see, free has say one. When God was founding a nation, the first time God is saying, I'm going to found a nation, and through this nation, salvation will come to this world. These were the principles. One, God says, this world is sinful. Remember, so still, people were sinning. This world is so sinful and messy. I will choose a nation through Abraham. That is the first thing. God himself did it. Then the second thing, Hey, I said, your job is to command. I mean, scholars actually lots of books about just this one phrase, to command. And I want to show just a little bit of it to us because it is the heart of Yenina. It is something that we have a duty to do. And who? The primary target 
Yes, maybe at the household now, how may confuse you? You may describe the household, said you channel last week, and as the family. Start from home. But the clear thing is your children. Your children. Your target, primary target, Abraham, is to start to command them, your children. And the last bit, hey, why? To what extent should I be commanding them? Because of the aims and objective that I have as God, that they may know that they may keep the way of the Lord. Now, I really want you to take a picture of this and leave it in your home as a father and see what will become of your life. And I want you to do this as a mother and see. So, me did the person in America say, me are in this secularized, sinful world. Ah, they are going to struggle out there. Ah, that's what my me a commitment, a one-time job to do as a parent. Ah, then I need to go back to the blueprint. Ah, what they may and say, God, what, who, why? And I should be thinking about this every day. You see, and Abraham did. Um, let me go back to the what a bit, the number two, the what. Um, in fact, Hebrew language, you know, a language, so for Godfrey, let me be careful on my boss when it comes to Hebrew. Um, now, I'll say, in fact, Hebrew language, you know, a language, I believe, because a need a lot of vocabularies, a you know, ill vocabulary language, but sometimes, you know, say. Um, who to say Bible Massam near Tro, Nasa Sam Namipes who sees with your pana, who you sue a near maybe at the car on the way it is written. Yeah, near can say a strong, intensive, you can say, Puel, Puel, which I say, it's not something same at that in a may can be the God is saying with power, with 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 vim, with 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 some intensity, with a wording be. At the same, you know, a collabe wo now we can be be a man. We see him so a bit chin free ho because it is a matter of life and death. And this is how this particular word is written in the Bible with all top, with all kind of intensity, strong, intensive way of presenting that command. He say to command, to tell them about the ways of the Lord. And it's really important that we understand this. From that angle, what we said, and yeah, my yes, we are seeing in our education. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of the studies, some of the studies, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is so amazing. Now, sometimes, yeah, I'm doing what I'm doing. I say, how can God be so right when it comes to the Bible? So we catch them and say, what can be a Bible? No more antias. Yeah, the fine could say here. You know, sometimes it amazes whether that person is actually knows what they are talking about. Because go to every big, you know, Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, Princeton, all these what we call world-class educational centers, and go to their field of education, where they do, they look at the dynamics, when, how people learn, you know, the science and the philosophy, and the, those things behind, and then ask yourself, how do they actually come to understand the processes that people go through. Let me show with let me share with you a few things because it's only come to confirm what the Bible is saying. So there are about four or five stages are uh, about human development when it comes to education. It's in the page three the The first stage, every major work in learning will tell you. Say so when it comes to education, the first stage, you know, hey, a telling, telling. And you say you have to be very clear. And this is what happens from Kuala between the ages of one to seven years. There, you have to be high in directive to say, a Kuala needs to be told in clear terms, this is right, this is wrong. You need to eat, otherwise you will die. And you say, do you want to eat? You don't do that with children. Why? Because at that stage, they need to be told as it is. And that is the first stage. So, um, uh, like I say, a kind of one-way type of communication, because you know, you know, say Akolani is very weak. Akolano, eh, yeah, they need clear, concise direction on how to complete things. You haven't said anything. You need to take your time and say, say, Kofi, I'm talking about your four-year-old child and as a five-year-old. Kofi, and this is what I mean. I'm talking about seven o'clock. 
seven to seven one. Just first look on the watch. A boss seven paper pa. A person of a prayer prayer no kahasi edaho. Ufa na se fehuva ukoha edaho. Ufa fashion socket we say mo. Ukoa press we a beso so muse na efa etrini say. So sometimes we are a ma kohese shimu ya. What you are trying to do, you are giving step by step clear instructions because. You are talking about a child. They need to be told in one, two, three, in clear terms. It's so funny. Some of your computer science and they know that so this is what we call algorithm. Algorithm, a step-by-step -step set of instructions. Ah, Emma, anything happens. And this is what God means when he says, tell him. Because in the development of a human being, they need to be told clearly what it is. Then you go to the next stage. The next stage in a teaching, you know why you don't teach Akola? Um, and, and sometimes yeah, English language you know, is very tricky when it comes to um, how you explain it. You know, telling is somehow different from teaching, but I don't want us to go into that. But teaching, AESA, you are now beginning to do things that will cause Akolano to, be, to ask questions. We are near my Bema Colano, Ebusa questions because it is through questioning in Oceania that is where they learn. And you are beginning to engage on the mental capacity. When I'm saying stage one, you tell, or China one yet, Nirebefi, you go back and you tell, or Nirebefi, you keep telling every day to reinforce it. But teaching there, you do something to get a colony to start asking. So, in the other internet, I said, my head by my head said, I bought seven and San Maya because that is the time I will post sorry, and you have to do it in the morning. So it gives you an opportunity to talk more and explain more so they can start learning. And that is normally what happens after seven years. And until now, sometimes, yeah, and I, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 and sometimes no one here we a penny I make say ah sabi 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 excuse me lady when kwasi question be obi sir why they are at the stage that they are now trying to discover themselves but this is the time where they also need a lot of support unim one of the things that mesia being a parent eh say one day me ba ba ko sabi na things were this seven or eight years and now of far your last born no? of far no? and this was a color you know so things were there about three months you know four months of fun there be your personal fun and yesterday be when you be piano and one day they say okay let's see how we can help to him to be taught something to a far color no? in that um well okay so be fun and i'm so okay we have a choice as parents and either we say say no and for the rest of the life you know, they will grow never knowing how to hold on color and i say we use it as a learning curve for them into what we did yes say your man a pigeon in your man is him. but what did we do because he needs to be to me a prayer or it one into we hold the top part no and oh who do no one you did look at crazy for about just five seconds in your son so him. And gradually, knowing how to hold a collar for the first time in the life. This is what teaching is about. We are supporting it in such a way, say, we don't deny them the ability to learn, but we also support them. This is what teaching is. Then you come to the next stage. And this is what we should be doing for a lot of our young people. Kualan, 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 omo, eh, 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 what that stage. And up to about 12 to 13 years. Obianim said this time, a time was all Akola was started in eight years. When your problem, I didn't. Akola on Kaso, on Kasa, you know, first of all, then Koni, dear Gronia Kasa, a fedia suddenly or Koshene de Moa, you know, Ubusana Samoa, Umwa. Yes, this is the stage, I have learned, modeling and participating stage. Omudu, that place, now what happens near they are beginning to discover who they are. They are having a lot of things. In fact, Senkaye Trakolana Junifu to Achire Wan Kabi a lot of images. Every single time moment in their life, they are thinking. They are thinking about so many things. Maybe I've been doing say unnecessary, but they are struck the Oma breath. You know, they can just be tired by sitting there. Why? Because they are now beginning to ask a lot of questions. What questions are we talking about? 
this is the time that all that they need, mm-hmm. ASA, they need relationship. They don't need you to be telling them. They don't need you to be teaching them. In fact, I'm not saying, say, don't tell them anything or don't teach them anything. But talking doesn't do much for them. Oh, it doesn't do much for them. All that they need is to know, have that certainty in their lives to say, we have parents, if it's me, I come or when we are stuck. You need to allow them to go through things. And when it gets stuck, the only thing that will bring them to you is say, I know I can go to my dad. I know I can go to my dad, my, fa- my, my mom. And what do we mean by modeling? All that you can do to help them at that stage, ASA, try to bring them closer and do things for them to see. Unim, say, who was 12 year old, 13 year old? Ah, Mr. Men can't change his own way, and why? They won't catch and say, Unim, Ochna, I perceive you're one of your favorite meal. I perceive you're one of your favorite meals. Take Akolano to the kitchen. Encourage him to come, her to come to the kitchen. And when him, she said, me de say na me ye no, me de guwe, me nam de guwe, me nam de guwe, me nam de guwe. What do you think? Me pesa ebi a wande onso ye wache ni ehe. See, what you do, you don't force Akolano to accept how you do wache per se. But you introduce me to how you do it and then start having a conversation. Or better try a few things or be fairly, and she may come up with your plan as the best one, or even something which is better than your one. It's a win win situation for everybody because modeling ASA may yet actually I'm beginning to have a conversation on it. I'm getting her to participate, him to participate, and then it helps. Yeah, so many so many times make a lot of programs. Now here. Papa, a be our own a home for the NSO, none a ba, a cra, camera no, a chain a you do a crab, yes, no, but Papa no bonnetchi, yeah, to be well, to be well. What you are doing is you are modeling, oh, yeah, oh, you see, you are helping them to learn because that time talking doesn't do much, teaching doesn't help. They need to be part of it, and this is something that especially young Ghana for near near weakness, Kakrao, I mean, Pi Bok. So you see, you know, you be one of this stage near the age of the last stage, eh, delegating. You see, so we are modeling here. A boy, by the time we've been through eighteen, you can easily delegate. And I, I thank God, say, Bracknell Church is beginning to model some of the things we do in church, and I'm happy to see tracing people, young people like this being part of it. You see, we should actually, as in Penifono, sometimes to just sit back and get them to run the show. No one say. When they are mature enough, they can take over fully. Of course, when we do it, let them sit by us and watch us do it. Let us do it together and let us step back for them also to do it. I personally think, sir, a, a, a questionable. When young people come to the point to say, sir, I want to do things in my own bubble, never thinking about, sir, I need anybody. I personally think maybe as a teacher and as a pastor coming up and as a somebody who has maybe a little experience in life, I think we need to encourage our young people. But sometimes another problem is that we don't engage in rational conversation. We just impose on them, and that is wrong. We need them. They need us. We need to model it together because this is a principle of the Bible. That is what the Bible teaches us. How many of us, in a year, were 12 years? You know, in a year, I said, I was 12 years. Yeah, or bad boy, I 12, 13. But then I tried to say, this is how much that the media, this is how much mommy had here. This is your fear. You know, your car, your boy. So, you know, can you help us to balance it? It will amaze you because I've seen a family which does that. And then Kualano are beginning to help in Peninfono how to run their finances. When him says a Kualano, part of this are a very difficult. So, because Father, give me this when I know that the finances cannot do it. Let us bring them in and we would have taught them. Because that is how development happens. And then some American is backed by thousands of research, which is done by some of the most prestigious center of education and learning. And only for us to come back and know, say they didn't have to do that because God has actually given us the, the plan in the Bible. And why can I say that? Because God told Abraham, command, tell, instruct the nation you are going to be the father of um, to no, it start from infant stage. Into at the time where Abraham started, and 
Okay, Abraham, sorry, Ninana. He was commanding them. Or realize they said it was the first stage. The nation was like one to seven years. And he was telling them, he was commanding them. And that is why in Genesis, you read a lot of command, a lot of instructions. There is not even a conversation. They say, this is thou said the Lord. This is where the Lord is talking. And we see that the effect. Abraham passed on that information to the son, Isaac. Isaac. Beautiful story about Isaac. Yes, started last week, you know, said Abraham passed on how to even get married to Isaac. Brow smile, Eliezer, son of Alconia Rebecca Bayer, passed on what marriage should be like. By the way, let me stop here and say, sir, this sometimes including teaching them of the Bible and teaching them of your culture. You need to let your children know their culture. And then the culture they are living in, you need to have that balance. And, and, and you know, having, you know, a polarization of each section, for me, is, is I think it's questionable. Say, you have to live completely like a Ghanaian all the time. It's not right. And some people throw away, they forget, say, you know, ultra application, we give you away, say, by the way. And we need to have that balance to have the best of both cultures because that is what we learn from the Bible. And again, Isaac passed on to Jacob. And Jacob passed on to the 12 sons. One of the beautiful um, narration, I'm a kind of Bible when Jacob was going to die. No, a friend in many years, a bit of reflective analysis. I think Genesis chapter 49 or 50. Yeah, brother. Now Genesis discuss who who could do bunny we say we say sorry Jacob we say we say he 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 chastised them who we papa we say we say you be this you be that you know he 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 knows the family and he says this it as it is he is telling them because that was how God wanted it to be now have you asked yourself how they did this they didn't do this in school. They didn't do this, taking them to school. They didn't leave their responsibility for people to do it for them. They did this by having what we call storytelling or the Omotsnasi. They built monuments. And any time, it reminds them of who they are. They knew about their culture, their identity. They had this Passover being things that are done that they may know the ways of the Lord. So what do we come to when we get to somebody like Moses? I don't say, time I drew Moses, oh no. Israel had been in slavery for over 430 years. Now tell me, how can you as a nation spend 430 years in slavery in Obimaisu, in Bebi Abosunsum, Egypt, yeah, boo, yeah, come here for so. See, my Ukra won't soon, Yame. How did they manage to still keep the faith for 450 years? Because Moses was 400 years away from Jacob and the rest of them. But how did we have somebody like Moses that God could still come and speak directly to? It is because his forefathers never stopped commanding them in the home. The way of the Lord. And their philosophy was so they may know the ways of the Lord. Now, I'm going to end by suggesting these few things. Moses, Ebra Moses, Edrinus, and Yama will say, During the time, Anna Moses, Ibe, Wo, Okudina, Befone, Suono, no one who said, Kena land, Eguho, Kakra, Na Israel, Fui, Ewo, Ho, Mubi, Tra Jordan, No Mako Fasa, Seno. Moses remind them of the very foundation of the building. Moses catch him say, but now we are going to get the promise. The promise near said, for the first time, you guys are going to settle on this land. You are going to be blessed as a nation, just like God gave Abraham. But let me take you back to basics. And some Abraham, Yamidi Chani Fruma, when we were founding the nation, ASA, 
never forgets. In the Moses, and again, we see a lot of command. It goes back to that strong, I don't know the state, and Moses, but I could probably see him saying this with him, and you know, he was so emotional because it was the last message he could give to a nation which is going to be established or say, these things I command you and I give you today. And I want you to keep this in your heart. For the rest of your life, don't leave this. And it is not about you, but it is about your children. Or say, impress them on your children. Or can I say, you know, Ninyinano or Mamo three. You know, you summarize the most kind in three imperatives. And saying not Archbishop B. A. Cassin B. Rabbi B. Cassin B. No say, say, and ne, who call Jew my more. This is what we call the Shama. So if you are brought up as a Jew, every morning be an Osaria, and no name you more what to an empire obo. The Shama said, The Lord our God is one. And you shall serve the Lord with all your heart and with all your mind and with all your soul. That is what you see. That is what a Jewish child starts the day with. But it goes back to this very imperative, Anna Moses, a day may. I'll say three things. The first one is teach them. And this teaching, I walk out once a minute, I combine the first two stages. Because I nation, so he's combining the first seven years and the, and the next four years. <clears throat> teaching and, and, and telling stages. These two things put together. Teach them about God. And this is how he repeat, he, he says it or say, repeat them everywhere. Now, may they, I shall say the, the Hebrew mind, in fact, I didn't want to confuse us with a lot, you know, Hebrew words near the other, but so the Hebrew words and the Hebrew mindset, when it comes to using the word, our cow, how I trust you, I said, can't you tell them, tell them, and uh, the word repeat, repeat, nature said, impressed by frequent repetition. And by oh yes, I know it sharpens them. And my almost sent to say second. When in the NTR, this phrase is one of the things that you know, animal cream of you super they understand this very imperative of Moses at the man you follow. And what they do in here say, Omo Emma, Omo Mano, a recite Quran, they repeat it, they recite it, and they keep saying it, saying it, saying it into being in no, no, to make well, if you are going to cry to me, and about one percent to me, and I say, my manaka Bible text once every three months as quarters. Now say, Quran, you be him. I didn't hear. But you see, this is where you don't have to rely on the church to train your child. You have to rely, go back to basics. It's your home. Are you helping your children to repeat the Bible text? Do you spend time with them to actually get them to repeat it every day? Remember, the real thing is your home. Everything else is complementary. Number two. Uh, ye, uh, before I say number two, so mommy can we say in shame because this is a lot of young people and I'm saying, yeah, I'm come on. And I've come to realize say, this whole yeah, no can say but they don't know where it is coming from. Within the 1900s, Brian Shani a few from there was a new kind of religion, be a friend, you know, liberal, liberal theology, and what these people are saying is say, look. <laughs> So we are parents, not so what can religious and you match that will bar. You don't help our colano. I was on my colano in me. No, we do be on one bit ethical and moral decisions. Now, the name is so many mana on one says, not say, yeah, no, I'm fat and yeah, no, we jai. And sometimes we do this without even knowing as a Christopher because we are always waiting, say, yeah, man, even in yam sumu, but we're doing practically nothing at home to support them. And this is what this liberal theology meant. In fact, there are some people who even preach this in church, saying, say, let Nkwalanu grow and they will find God for themselves. I put to them, say, this is not what the Bible says. Because even 2000, uh, some time ago, you see 2000, one university, Austin University, did a lot of study. And this is some of the things uh, they came up with. Um, these sociologists, they research said, uh, what happens to a young adult who grow up in church? Akola who grow, grows up in church, 
with religious teachings in the church, yet church them ever sorry name. But they have little or no reference to God at home. But Nifie or near anything like devotion or near anything like Bible study, they don't do anything. What happens to them? And this is the findings they came up with. They say those people grow up with parents who seldom, if ever, talk to them about God, no longer consider Christian belief important. But it has nothing to do for him or her. Obenyini said, "Nyamekura no, we are an extension in this life. Me and Hunyamia na yede. It's okay to do without him." Say, "Obe sum nyamensua or sumono biara biara." And this is why I will take all of us back to the basics because God knew exactly what He was saying to Abraham, and this is what Enyano, yeah, Revelation, Enyama ya keni na na. This is where, sorry, yeah, for family life is in Revelation. Family life teaching say, "Yana this week in na." This is where we come down to I'm going to say you're spending about an hour so let me wrap up with the rest very quickly second one practice modeling and we have already talked about it okay in verse six and seven i'll say these things i command you these commandments i give you this is what moses is saying i give you today you are to um, to be in your hearts but impress them on your children impress impress no no at once what impresses or say talk to them when you sit at home, when you walk along, when you lie down, when you get up, when you are in, in, you know, in the car, when you are walking on the way, whatever you do, maninya part of your life. So when bicycle ride, so when so walk off school, take everything as an opportunity for you to impress on them the words of God. That is what it says. Now. Mkola expects so much from us as parents when they are growing up, but it is through our practice in a chlewomo. Remember, the direct teaching of God is good. See here, catch the woman, you know, your devotion. It is good, but we should one thing I mentioned this week in your life, you need an open book for them, and they watch us and they make their informed choices. They see that as modeling for them. Yeah, come meet your young colors. We, you know, yeah, yeah, the turning color be dear grow. Now, sometimes, maybe be young colony be sound. It's straight away ask a lot of questions about parents, the echo store. Oh, if you miss so your parent, uh, opa or back in him so you know, or two fathers ah, Mr. O to what's nature in the which one is which, Mr. O, my power child, because on Kualana are confused, they come to you. So my mom has two parents, but one comes in the day, one comes in the night. And they know, they know your life is an open book for them. Practice the right things with them because you are giving them that education for life. And Israel, how would my parent respond? That is a question they are asking every day. No, a brain name. But a very interesting story about this muffin. We are collab you on any mama a call a shop. Okay, na kola no common dinner, common dinner pa na. Uhu se muffin, ye fresh one baked, common dinner. No ka se mami, can I take one? No fa e no di. In fact, we bibu sa ne mami kwa no wa fa cake no no e di e we. Muffin no no e di e we. Now, unim uyi yen because e muffin in the wrapper, wrapping no. E no de ye no de to. Oi, but my manager no de share ne 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 bottom at adi share no de share ne bottom. Now, what my manager did know say Akolano was watching what the mom is going to do when they get to the tail because your life is an open book. And this is what I come down to. You have a choice to make at the checkout, but that, that choice is the best education you are giving to your child. And you are teaching Akolano two things. One, so what do check out when us one career, the child learns how to steal because for the rest of my life, me my micro and say, no, you're okay. But so through check out when us say, in Sioni. What an any but muffin no rapper na ye die no oh check out you need to run because akolani di and I need to pay for this what you are teaching akolana hey say they have to be honest in their lives how many of us na your co shops and your market and kitty what will check out a college na hona bag or say bag do do saying zero now they are sure who we are you are teaching them all these things they, your life is an open book for them watch out because your job is to train them in the way of the Lord. How does this practice, please 
it, your life is teaching them how to lie, how to tell them the truth, how to make or postpone appointments, you know. Uh, oh, boy, I drew him. Oh, me drew him a few minutes away. I call him and say, you are far away. You are teaching them how to lie. Please, watch out. Your thoughtfulness. And someone who can fear the brain, you know, they are forming the opinions about God through you. And it is dangerous. So, but so, bomb, pa, yeah, I'm slow. Bomb, pa, yeah, my woman. Bomb, pa, your mouth. I say, your life will be a modeling, a modeling, an example for them as they live. And the last one, how most is kind, yeah. Once you've done the first, you've taught them, you've modeled them, then the last one you proclaim. And the proclamation, you say, we had the first two, the third one, is very straightforward. You know, now say, I'm going school, I'm going to school, I'm going to school, I'm going to why are you so quiet? I say, I'm doing um, Ramadan. Now I say, so tell me about it. Akolani gave me something about why I should become a Muslim. And this is an 11 year old child. Now, me say, how many of Seventh day Adventists money bit me a co? I could die out in the open to people who are not Christians. And some of you know, caught him in an answer school about discipleship, how we can bring people to Christ. But the question is, how many of this near a macro etcher so they will grow to know the faith? If you do the first thing, the first two right, you are going to get your children to be able to hold the truth and they will proclaim it publicly. And they will not only do it out because you are telling, but they will do it because they understand. And will say, bind them on their hand. It's a natural progression from the two. So we are two in year. Akolano will wear seven day Adventists on their forehead. They will be happy to tell people, so fix them as an emblem on their forehead, write them on their doorsteps um, in your house. Make it open, make it plain to people. And, you know, we know, say, in real life, some Jews still take this, what we call phylactery. People who see, say, they are having this on their forehead. In fact, yes, you can say that is not the right way to do it, by the way. You know, phylactery. I didn't have bonnet, you know. I bonnet, you know. I'm going to dress in the uh, yes, you can say Matthew 23. Okay, say so you hypocrites. We always say no meaning as a Pharisee for but mono, there is nothing in there. That thing and you make one say if you have done the two for your child, it will come from within, and they can stand against this secularism which is around us because your home is where the real deal is. One doesn't need much imagination to predict, say so be say oba eh can same way say yeah, they will. Ask more. So Mu said the way I address it, it will ask, it will call for more questions. Omu said he's very honest and all these things. It will call for life questions. Whether you are a young person, whether you are an adult, whether you'll be or come. The in our tree it comes down to this. Take complete control of your home because secularism will always be there, but your child will come out. And if we start soon after our children are born, we have ample opportunity to instill in them the way of the Lord. And may Pai Boniye say, may Ba will know. May your child know. Make your home the classroom, your lifestyle, the open laboratory, the open book. Make God the syllabus in this secularized world. And remember, Every family can become a nurturing family. Let's place God at the heart of our home today. And our home will become a sweetest type of heaven, regardless of the Ekosua Bontina. I mean, Shayan, no, no, Amen. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Sabre, Mr. Pastor Emmanuel Asamoa, now the benediction, am I? Yo, I was for Yada, Yinia, Sidney, Amidia, Bedri, said they kind of be able to us now. Sunday, the bomb pie, no, me per se, me, me, throw Emma, a beer will be a wood tear. Um, I've just, I've, I just have this, this uh, feeling. Say, hey, be a no be a hope. So I recommit to him. Amen, amen. Um, yaka, who never did be brave, but sometimes there was saying, you know, yet you too must say, yeah, what demon, yen to me. Um, the di kind. Um, hey, be a now we a young person. Ah, you are struggling in your family. Fear will boost your moon and near my head, damn mount. But what who knows, sir? A near ma, a wabon tear, a church on the dorsum, and if you never could open so don't who may me ye. A be crying, I won your moors, but open so do who don't who may me. Open so do who may me, open so rededicate you, open so you want to go into baptism. Maybe an hour more says, almost so for a mosso. I say, may perceive me, Mao Aquenia. Now make it this very important decision, and na so for a bomb pie in my end. I believe, sir, Nyame has something for you today, and God wants to use you as an agent in your family. Ah, or be bring it all the pieces together. I'm not in shra any energy about fear. I wholly believe that you can do that. So be a horse. Obi timiya click it. The hands are button. Now, another person they just a private message. One person be bold in. I just send a private message to me and also for Amos. Now, um, me per se. Um, your first image is me, you edit to a new movie. Um, and prior to San, you know, in fact, me, me person reflected on this. Now, Obo Sampaye, you know, um, me, me, me found two screens. So, who has Empire and a new name? Because now, just a very short, a very short song. Now, Mr. Ebia, you name the entire COVID, said the opening upon Catra, you know, and the American swing in an honor. A boy and hope by Abedru Sabre. Now, yeah, that's a one. It's something that is, you know, that I think the Spirit of God is telling me to throw this this um, challenge to young people. Uh, A being so crying now, you're penny moon. Ah, you would be any yes, but. You, you really want a recommitment. I want you to put your name in the chat and uh, or send a private message. One person will be able to Na so for Amos. Enkayin na wa sa enu mi koso. Isremo. Ese ene uti nyami asem na so oti na isemo a. Mi imprimo akuma. Yini na have a role to play and um, empire bo. Oh,
So for a most messenger private message, na wedge na so ede abo empire amaye. I hear you. Yeah. Omo opejan and sano nyamin shaw. And I know, sir, God is working. I know so be a while still nyame e kasachro. You still have time and sana so for abo empire. See, we can look around us and see, sir, if we have promises so much, but when we get to the stage, I in to me. In your answer, sir, we get stuck. In the empire, boss, say, you know, you know, say, the abuse, you know, the abuse, you know, the Momo Pejomon Sanu Yamin Shramo Yamin Shramo. Um, 
mean shramo. I mean shramo. A mean pie bosset on Sao Pijano, Enya and Sakwa. Enya and Sakwa. God is going to do a miracle for us. God is going to do a miracle for us. So for Mr. Bompire Maya, na it to you in our I need Yame a holding, and I believe say in our need Yame a holding. So, Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor, for allowing God to speak um, 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 through you to us. And I believe that throughout the course of the whole week, um, every single one of us have been 